The number one upscale tool makes its debut and is now in free pick, Magnific AI. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Magnific, here is their website right here, okay? It says the image upscaler, transformer, and generator that feels like magic. And to be honest, it does a very good job. So here is the before, notice the blurriness, but as I go to the after, you can just see the instant clarity and instant upscaling and realism of what Magnific was able to upscale. This tool is now available in free pick. Now, now, the first thing you can do is just browse a file, drop an image in here, and it's going to automatically give you the options to upscale. You can even bulk upscale multiple images or even choose an existing one that you created in free pick. Wait, what? So now let's put this to a test and see how good of a job it can really do. Now, right here, I'm in mid journey. And the reason I'm in mid journey right now is because recently I have been coming in here and really working on some very realistic looking prompts like this that create these insane realism type Type of images. As I scroll down, what I've been really doing is coming up with a ton of different images specifically for AI influencers. Hey there. And so the first thing I want to do is first, let's start from scratch and look at a few interesting images that we can create first and see what the upscale tool can actually do. So for that, I'm in my mega prompts database, which you can also get access to with the link in the description, but something kind of like these right here, where the image is pretty good, but maybe it could take some improvement with the level of realism and and hopefully that's something the upscale tool of Magnific can actually do. And now you also may have images like this that maybe are already gonna be upscaled enough that adding an upscale really won't make a big impact or difference. But either way, I think it's gonna be helpful in trying to really see the power of Magnific. But this prompt I'm highlighting, if you use this specific style, you're gonna get some amazing video game style images that are gonna look just like this one right here. When you use that specific prompt, you're going to be able to get some incredibly realistic looking video game style images. And now the reason I show you this is because if I head back over into Magnific, okay, there is going to be a specific option for 3D render. Now this image may be hard to upscale because in my opinion, this image already looks amazingly realistic and upscaled. So what we'll do is we'll try this image and then we'll also use this specific prompt. Okay. I'm also going to open up this one again and now copy this specific one for the 3D render version that we're going to use for Magnific. Okay, look at this. Now, utilizing Flux, my image is going to look good, but not as crisp and clear as when I used it with Mystic or even Flux Realism. So these may be some good ones to see about upscaling, okay? And now we have our video game one right here created. Now, these all look very good as well. Now, what I'll do is click and drag this image in here, okay? Now, again, this one is already going to be upscaled pretty good. But notice, now on the left-hand side, look at all these cool options we get. We have Magnific chosen, presets, we have subtle, and then we can go with vivid, wild, or custom. I'll stick with subtle. And now we have optimized for. Look at all these cool options. We have these different portrait options. And then right down here, we have the one for 3D render and also science fiction and horror. Okay. And the video game assets one will also be pretty beneficial. So that's why I love Magnific being added in here because it's not just one of those upscale tools where you just click one button and it just upscales. You have a lot more control where I can adjust the creativity with all these toggles right here, even the HDR, okay? Now, if you hover over each question mark or click it, it's gonna give you the exact explanation on what each one of these options are for. Very good. Now, when it comes to prompt, it is gonna be helpful to actually include the prompt as well. So if I come back over here, let's go ahead and copy that and do just that, okay? Now, I will simply paste the prompt down here at the very bottom. And now we'll go ahead and see what happens on this one. We're gonna go ahead and upscale this one. Now you can see the cost is 360 credits. So it's not the cheapest, but it's gonna do the best job. Okay, so right now I have three actually going at the same time. And there is gonna be a few more features I do wanna show you that are gonna be very important. This is the new image I'm gonna be trying to upscale. And I might get a very crazy version because I'm gonna be adjusting these creativity toggles pretty high up. But notice down here at the very bottom. I have my prompt, but right above that, we have the engine, okay? If I expand this, you could see we're gonna have three versions of Magnific, okay? 
Let's see if the question mark gives us more details. So this is going to be extremely helpful again for how you upscale it with your proper pairing. Let's go ahead and move this to a four. Okay. Let's see what we can get with this one. Now, three going at the same time, but my first one is already done. And look at these amazing results. Here is the before. And now remember, I was already happy with this and I only upscaled this, I believe, 2X. So to get the results that I'm showing you right now is pretty astonishing. Pay close attention to her nose and the underneath of her eyes, okay? As I go over the eyes, the details in her pupil, you could see the veins clearer, her pupils are more sparkly, and then her pores, more realistic looking pores. So for an image I thought was already good enough, this just proves it could get even better. Now with a clear zoom in, now you can really see the fine level of details. Now the second one is still thinking, but while we're here, let's go ahead and add one more into the mix and then we'll wrap it up because I now want to show you how to do this for some illustrations or 3D renders, specifically the video game one I just showed you. Okay, so since we are over here, let's go ahead and drop in a video game one, okay? I'm going to go ahead and click and drag and I'm going to call an audible and I want to click and drag this Sonic the Hedgehog one in here. This looks amazing already, but it does look like I could perhaps get some more detail. And now back up top for the scale factor, let's go ahead and do 8x. Now optimize for, we're going to move away from standard and now we're going to go to a 3D render. Again, the prompt is going to be helpful. Let's go ahead and copy this whole entire thing like that. Now back over into free pick. Now let's go ahead and paste it in. Upscale, and I forget we're doing eight X. Okay. Fingers crossed. Now you can see this cost me a lot more 1440. Again, not cheap. My first image was like 320 or 340. So the more options and the higher upscale is going to be more tokens cost. Okay. Now this one right here, this is a great example of when you really do increase the toggle or the strength on certain things. And on this one, I also moved the fractality up much higher. So you could definitely look at the difference. Look at this. Okay, so here's the original image right here. Now pay special attention to Sonic's actual body and his stomach. Look at this, the bottom of his shoes. And I'll actually zoom in a little bit just so you can really see the definition. Look at that amazing definition, okay? Even the color of his eyes, barely seen. There's no green in them. Now that full-fledged bright green, the lightning. I mean, everything about this image, even at the very bottom to that explosion, 8X did do a pretty, pretty impressive job, okay? Now, the next one I wanna show you is this one right here. A lot more subtle, pay extra attention to her glasses and then primarily her face and eyes. Look at that, the definition and the clarity. Okay, so finally, all the images have been upscaled in free pick. Let's head over there now. I think you're gonna be surprised with how good these actually look. Now, this one, I am very, surprised by. I already thought this was a great looking image. It really couldn't get much better than this, or could it? Now let's look at the after. Look at the level of detail. This definitely needs a zoom in. Let's specifically look at her cheek and her eyes. Look at the underneath of her eyelids. Look at that. You could really see the fine details. Now this is the one where I really turned things up a notch. I chose films and photography and I even increased the toggle strength on almost every option. That is where these really fine details can come into play and wow, this is incredibly detailed. Even the watch itself, everything about the whole image. And now last but not least, this time I did 8X. I chose a video game assets. It goes from like a little bit of a blurriness to that clarity, especially if we zoom in a lot more on Mario, look at the difference in quality and clarity. So there you have it. Another great update and free pick. And remember, if you like this video, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Until then, we'll see you next time.